Do you know what to do when you have a crane lift? Do you know what things to think about? Today's video is all about crane lifts. This right here is the crane. It's backing up in front of the building, replacing the oldest unit in America over here. It's made by Carrier. What you need to think about when you have a crane lift is how far up and how far over the unit is so that the crane driver knows if his crane is capable of doing what you want. For this lift, the crane driver said that this direction over here, 70 foot over, was not going to work. So I looked at the building and then the ground and of course considered the power lines and figured out that the front of the building was going to be the best location. And what you want when you have a crane lift, when you're repl replacing a rooftop package unit, is you want somebody on the edge of the building doing this, hey, go up, go over, stop, and then you want someone over with the unit. That way, when they get the actual um, hook and the ball and everything lined up, you know exactly where it needs to be. So, let's go ahead and get this unit changed today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I want to help you. We're almost ready. You ready, Willie? Almost. Darren, I don't know what he's doing, man. So this is not sitting on a curb. This right here is the curb. It's ducting into the curb. Got a lot of units like this. That's okay. We're just going to set the package unit, gas package unit on the frame, and then it's going to duck into this curb here so we probably got the supply right here the return right there but yeah it's about 30 foot over so you got to make sure that you call your crane driver ahead of time find out what their schedule is line everything up we had to be here at a certain time so make sure you know that you may have to block part of the road because the outriggers so be aware of that this is Brown Signs. I use him, Paris, Tennessee. Offers great service. Always willing to work with me, no matter the circumstance. But yeah, I'm having to block, block the road here, so. Be aware of power lines. Look at that power line, how close all these are. having to block the road I love it man love it so recommend you definitely have enough people to do this job a couple on the roof a couple on the ground we're gonna use hooks I'm gonna hook the four corners and pull this unit on the roof and set it on the stand so this is a three ton 36,000 BTUs of cooling 75,000 BTUs of heating and it's a yawk couple things you won't see anymore a pop rivet oh that's nice that's real nice so we're gonna move the actual crane because we cannot reach right here and we weren't able to put the jib on which is an extension for the boom it's actually a boom it's just an extension but it won't reach we can't put the jib on because we got these power lines here so We're gonna move the crane and we're gonna pull it back he said we would gain more length by backing up here and lifting the boom this direction so all right so now we've repositioned the crane and now we're gonna have a better reach Sometimes you have to do this. You gotta find the best spot. Putting something underneath the outrigger because you look at the angle. So he's got a couple boards to put underneath the outriggers to make sure that it's on something that's sturdy enough to hold it. This right here is clevises. This is what we use to hook to those four corners of that package unit I showed you. And that's some ropes. Without the jib, we're almost centered over the unit. It's disconnected. Now we got to figure out a way to hook to this old thing. Oh. 
So we will not need the clevises to lift the old unit off the roof. We've used just the straps, the ropes here. And you can see the way that we did the ropes. We choked them, tightened them down, kind of centered them apart from each other on this package gas unit. So we are ready. I'm excited. Getting it done. Definitely need to move over the boom. But you see how someone stands on the edge of the roof so that you can signal the crane driver and you need somebody down there so that when you get the unit onto the trailer, you have somebody that can take the straps off. And then you got a couple people on the roof, so it's definitely not a one-man job. You need at least two men on this. Three would be good measure. So we got it up in the air goodbye old carrier goodbye there's the supply there's the return got to do something with that disconnect heat exchanger still looks pretty good got to be careful got to make sure everything is strapped got to make sure everything is level if this was to fall, it would definitely go through this roof. And that could be very dangerous. Not only for the people on the roof, but everybody inside the building. So, got to know what you're doing. Brown sure does. He's right there. And there's a trailer we're backing underneath the unit awesome now you got to get the straps off and get the unit on the trailer now the other one will get it ready of course you want to know the voltage of the unit you want to know whether it's three phase or not and you also want to make sure that you know the dimensions so that you know if it'll fit, fit on the existing frame so now we're pulling the trailer in front of the crane there's the old unit tell me in the comments what do you think looks better the new unit or the old unit So now we put the clevises through the holes on the four corners of the package unit. Getting ready to lift the new unit on the roof. New unit coming up. Exciting. You can see the way they did that. A little bit different than the way we did the old package unit as far as the way that they uh, put the clevises on, we didn't have a way to put clevises on. We had to actually wrap those straps around the unit. Little tip, don't stand underneath the unit. And be careful. And if you got a good crane driver, he knows exactly where to put that boom based on where he put it before. So, exciting. You want to make sure that he extends the boom enough that he lowers the boom down to where he's centered over that stand and then this right here is what you do to tell him to drop it down raise it up and then you know this way that way all right come on down come on down come on down let me put you on the stand let me give you a hand gotta have a good crane lift song guys that's why i'm singing my favorite song come on down come on down bring on the package set it on the ground what you like my music darren what sounds great <laughs> oh that's awesome i knew you loved it do i have to help you now okay 
Take all the clevises off, make sure they're nice and tight. New unit is set. Nice. And then you do this. Good to go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wanted to bring you some tips today because I had a crane lift scheduled. Looks like the return and the supply are going to line right up there. All right. Boy, that sure does look nice. That means that we don't have any old units on the roof anymore. We've got a newer American Standard, newer, well, kind of newer York. This is the oldest unit. Leaking indoor coil, so that'll probably be next. You want to make sure you measure square footage. You want to make sure you measure the duct work. This is actually a three-ton unit. I took out a four-ton unit. Because I measured the square footage, I counted the vents, and I made sure that I could do that. It's level. Yes. Great day, great lift. This is Craig with Brown Signs. Where do we find you, Craig? Paris, Tennessee, 731-642-9152. 9152-642-9152. You need a good crane driver, you need a good lift. Craig is your man, Brown Signs. Little recap of what you need to know if you're hiring a crane service and you need to do a lift. You need to know the distance because you're going to call the crane service company. You're going to tell them the address of the location. They're going to probably want to know where it's at because they want to know how much traffic they're going to have to deal with, if they're going to have to bring extra vehicles, or you're going to have to be there to block off the street. You need to know the distance of the lift. That means how far up and how far over because the crane service depending on the lift they may have to get a different crane to do that lift because they know automatically what type of crane is going to be able to do what type of distance for the lift so you need to make sure you have enough people to do the job you need to make sure you know the crane signals and have enough people to do the job so that means people on the roof people on the ground and also are you going to go up are you going to go down back forward extend the boom get with the crane driver before you get on the roof, make sure you go over the proper hand signals so you know exactly what to do when you get up there. All right, hope this video helps. Hope you learned something. Let me know in the comment section who you are, where you're from. If you have a question, drop it below. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Thanks for watching, everybody. So the transitions are gonna work. They're gonna be building a nice custom rain shield like this right here. Got to make sure that it is sealed properly. It's waterproof so you don't have any water going down below. Also, make sure you got a nice trap and make sure it's level. Don't want water staying in the pan or falling out of the pan and causing a leak inside. That looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That is a beautiful rain shield.